Decatur, where a community continues to mourn the loss of Steve Perkins. He was shot and killed by police last week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kenesha Dees. Our Sedona Meadows is near the Decatur Police Department right now, where a protest is being held. Demonstrations that have happened all week in Sedona. What's it like right now? Yeah. Yeah, Kanisha, many people in the community are mourning the loss of Steve Perkins. And right now there's a protest that's gathering uh, in the area and really all they want is answers. That's, you know, they're doing it as a, as a push to, to get answers from what really happened the night that Steve Perkins was shot by Decatur police at his home. And just last night, a vigil was held uh, in honor of Perkins and around 600 to 700 residents attended this along with Perkins family. And I spoke with Mayor Tab Bowling earlier today, but before we hear from the mayor, here is some of what the family's attorney, Lee Merritt, passionately said in front of the crowd last night. So we're going to fight until every officer is arrested. Really, whenever I think about the the people that were in attendance last night, the residents, I don't think that uh, they're the least bit interested in trying to do things that would damage our city. They, they've worked hard to build this city, still are. Well, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency is still managing the case and no new information has been released just yet. But we'll have more information on this story tonight at 9. For now, live in Decatur, Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News. Thank you so much for your coverage, Sedona. We'll continue to follow this story.